So she's arguing voting on Medicare for all will end the movement. What the hell are you talking about? How is voting on your bill going to end the movement? The movement isn't to get a vote on Medicare for all. The movement is to actually pass. How is the bill supposed to pass if it's never voted on? Keep it 100, I be feeling like uh, Campbell soup over white rice. Uh, baked chicken with the skin on. Yeah, Lowry's with black pepper. I'm fully seasoned with that. Representative Pramila Jayapal, she introduced a Medicare for all bill in the house. And later this year, she reintroduced the bill again in the house. So now she's making an argument against why her own bill should not be voted on. So I want you to watch the video, then I'll discuss it after. These are the pieces of work that have to happen. If somebody wants to call for us to force a vote on Medicare for all, I am happy to tell you why I think that's a bad idea. It will end our movement. So she's arguing voting on Medicare for all will end the movement. What the hell are you talking about? How is voting on your bill going to end the movement? The movement isn't to get a vote on Medicare for all. The movement is to actually pass. How is the bill supposed to pass if it's never voted on? That doesn't make any damn sense. Oh my goodness. So here's what her comments are telling me. She doesn't actually care about passing Medicare for all. She cares about running on passing Medicare for all so she can get your don donations and get your dollars so she can get elected. That's the only goals of the Justice Democrats, to get elected, run on Medicare for all, which, is, which the establishment Dems don't give a damn about passing and say, hey, we're going to try to pass it by never getting a vote on it, so you can continue to get elected. Their whole spiel was, I'm not going to take any money from corporate interests. I'm going to serve and be representative to the people because I'm taking money from the people. But what it's actually become is they're going to give a, a they're going to give a word salad to the people, say a bunch of sweet flowery words that mean absolutely nothing, be just like Obama, and it's going to be enough to appease the people because not enough people are going to pay attention to them saying complete foolishness. So they're going to be just like the corporate Democrats, but just not taking any money, still selling you out. Because at the end of the day, even though they're not taking money from these corporations, their lives improve massively from becoming a, con a congressional member. Massively, their lives improve. Because many of them were average people, were sh people who were struggling to get by. But as a member of Congress, you make a six-figure salary. So why you may not sell out, why they're not selling out as much as the other members of Congress who became millionaires, some even billionaires while in Congress, they're still selling out. They're just going along, get along. I remember when Kyle, Kyle Kalinske created the, the Justice Democrat movement along with Cenk Uger. He created, they created, they created them. They created the the organization that, uh, that helped get them elected. I remember Kyle Kalinske saying the whole goal of the Justice Democrats was to be the left Tea Party. Balls to the wall, do whatever you can to try to get their policies implemented. And that's the reason why we elected them, to do whatever they can to get the policies that the left are in favor, favor of passed. That's why we elected them. But instead, they're going along to get along. Because in order to pass anything, to be the left Tea Party, you have to have courage. And none of them have any damn courage. AOC's out endorsing candidates who call supporters sexist. Pramila Jayapal doesn't want to vote on her own damn bill. Rashida Tlaib and AOC, and I believe Jamal Bowman as well, vote to fund the Capitol Police. What are they doing? And then I'm pretty sure none of them were in favor of forcing the vote on Medicare for all. 
I remember specifically AOC saying that she would not vote for Nancy Pelosi unless Medicare for All was brought up for a vote on the floor. But then when she got into office, complete opposite. The candidate's version of themselves would be ashamed of the political version of themselves. Candidate Pramila Jayapal would be ashamed of politician Pramila Jayapal. Politician, a candidate AOC would be ashamed of politician AOC. Candidate Cory Bush would be ashamed of politician Cory Bush. Candidate Jamal Bowman would be ashamed of politician Jamal Bowman. So listen, you need to stop donating to them. They're complete, not, they're complete garbage. They're clowns. They're just there for the show. Don't vote on your own bill. What the hell are you talking about? Vote on your bill would end the movement. Are you kidding me? So you're saying not voting on a bill wouldn't end the movement? <laughs> my my question to Pramila Jayapal is exactly what is the movement? Is the movement to pass Medicare for all or is the movement to bring it up? For it, or is the movement to? I I don't know. I don't know. What is the movement? I assume there's to pass Medicare fall, not just continually introduce it and never have it voted on. So, this is just a bunch of tomfoolery, complete foolishness. Kabuki theater. So, oh man, that had me heated. That's all I gotta say for the video. If you like the content, like, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications to so you know I post videos in the future. I don't have a word of the day right now. I it just went on a rant after seeing that complete nonsense of foolishness. So like, subscribe to the channel, watch my George Floyd documentary. The documentary is about the system that allowed George Floyd to be murdered, how much progress we made so far, if any, and steps we need to take in order to make progress. So it's gonna be linked in the end card in the and on the end car on the end screen um that's all i gotta say for this video make sure you subscribe turn the post notifications because youtube will not show my videos unless you do so i'm sellers peace well i've been stacking up uh, no nah, really that ain't accurate because i just spent my whole damn advance in the past couple months just to compensate for times we ain't have enough Ooh.